Hey everybody, and I'm um, really excited to tell you about this cube that I made, which is um, just two colors and it's a super, super easy cube. So here is a regular cube that is um, that has like the 43 quadrillion um, combinations or whatever and is almost impossible to solve without um, knowing anything about cubing. And then this is the super, super easy cube that um, pretty much anyone can solve within a minute. And so the cool thing about this is um, I think everyone should have one of these, or at least every cuber should have one of these, or every cuber that has someone in their house or knows someone that's not a cuber, uh, which is pretty much every cuber should have one of these because they're just super, super easy. And the cool thing about, well, the thing I noticed is my non-cubing friends, they pick up my cube and they're like, oh, this is so hard. They turn it around and they can't do anything. And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't know how to do it. But with this, um, then any non-cuber can pick it up and then solve it within a minute and um, or like two or three minutes if they're slow. And it's just a really like um, positive experience. And so let me um, let, um, let me let me mix it up um, and then solve it. And my uh, my my camera takes a long long time to focus. So I'm going to try to get it in focus. Okay, here, here it is. And then, um, and then solve it like this. So, um, so the cool thing about this is it doesn't actually require any, um, any orientation. And so, um, and so, and, and I'm kind of solving this backwards. So, um, that's why it's, that, uh, uh, that's why it's taking me so long, but, but, but because, um, because all of these, um, because all of these are the si are the same and they don't, ha and you don't have to actually like make, um, put anything together, then it makes it just super, super easy to, oh, wait a minute. Um, it makes it super, super easy to solve unless you're trying to solve it upside down like I am. And, and so, so, so you can see it's just super, super easy to solve. So, um, the um, the question is how did I get the idea for this? And act actually, I've been watching a lot of Z3 cubing videos, and he always takes apart um, the videos, that, or he uh, he always takes apart the cube. And the last um, cube he took apart was the 21 by 21, and he mentioned that. He's kind of an expert in taking apart cubes, and I thought, oh, well, I'm, I've been afraid to take apart any of my cubes except for the dollar store brand that fell apart on me, and um, and I was still afraid to, and still I, like, put that together, like, right as soon as it fell apart. Um, and so so I took my cheapest cube, and I took it apart, and then I realized, oh, you can actually reconfigure this. So so this is the, um, here's the here's the box. It's the Meilong, uh, Moyu Meilong 3M. Um, here's another, here's another version of the box. So in, I, I live in Thailand and the cool thing in Thailand is these are super cheap, like a buck each. I think on Amazon, they're like five bucks each and probably on like speed cube, shop, speed cube shop, they're like four bucks each or whatever, but they're super, super cheap. So for, um, for me, I made this cube for less than seven bucks. Um, because it takes six cubes to make this, and then you can make a whole bunch of other cubes with different designs on them too. Um, so, but but anyway, let me get back. Let me get back to how to take apart the cube. So, so the way to take apart any cube, and you should watch the Z3 cubing videos because he's much much better at taking these apart than I am. But you, but you turn it like this, so the um, the corner's kind of on the or the edge is on the corner, and then you just pull really hard. And I, um, I can't do it backwards, but just pretend um, I'm, I'm going to turn it around, but, but pretend I'm actually pulling like this, um, but that you can see it. And, and then eventually it like comes out like this. And then once, once one piece comes out, then it's really easy for all the other pieces to come out. And so the thing that I noticed with this is that, um, is that one of these pieces um, will actually, and let me do the thing where it, where my camera refocuses. Um, it takes, it takes, okay. So, um, so if you notice then the, um, these pieces are identical, but just swapped around. And so what that means, um, and, and these, um, these are for like the two pieces and then, the, and then this is a three piece. And with a three piece, you can pull, you can easily pull them apart. So nothing's sticking them together. There's no glue. There's no nothing. Um, just, um, just they're you they're all like every single piece is or every single edge piece, uh, corner piece is made out of three of the exact same mold on the super super cheap cubes and then every single edge piece is made out of two of the same thing and so what that means is you can reconfigure them into whatever it is that you want and 
So anyway, I bought six of these cubes and then reconfigured them into this. And then technically, um, technically for this, you only need five, but I wanted a solid um, red cube because red's my favorite color. So I, um, I made this um, solid red cube. Otherwise, I would have only need five to, um, to do my idea. But, um, but yeah, I recommend getting, um, getting six. So, um, so anyway, here's my red cube. Here's the cube that I already showed you. And, then, um, and this is kind of a level one beginner's cube. And um, then this is a level two beginner's cube. And so with, with, with this one, you don't have to worry about the edges or like getting every, um, getting, um, getting like um, red here and orange here and blue here and whatever. Um, but you do have to worry about, uh, um, all you have to worry about is the bottom. And um, so, so this is probably like four or five times harder than the. Um, and and let me refocus. Sorry, my. Uh, it, well, it's probably it's probably me because I don't know how to um, get my camera to refocus um, without it taking um, like. 10 seconds or whatever. Okay. So, so this one's, um, th this one's probably like four or five times harder. So, so there, um, there I've done a scramble. Um, I, um, am doing the, um, I'm doing the center. Oh, um, I can't really, or, or I'm not, um, that great at doing it backwards. So here we go. Um, and then, and maybe um, maybe I should actually just um, forget about doing it backwards and do it forwards because I'm because I'm totally messing this up. Um, but um, but but I guess um, me solving uh, me solving the super easy cube isn't the whole point of this. The whole point of this is that. Um, so, um, um, so so anyway, there's um, um, there's the cross, and then um, and then it's pretty easy to um, it's pretty easy to solve the rest uh, um, the rest of these. But I guess. Um, I guess just I'll just leave that up to your imagination that that, um, that, um, that it is, but it's a lot more difficult than the than the first like um, than this um, super super beginner cube, and I'd recommend like getting or I'd, I'd recommend doing both of these because they're both really really cool. So um, so I had enough to make six cubes, so I already showed you my solid cube, and then I made um, three more cubes just out of like random pieces, but. Like if you're using these in a in a classroom, then you can make uh, th then with six cubes you can make six that look um, exactly like this, but exa but with different um, top and bottom colors. Um, and anyway, that's what um, th um, that's what I'd recommend. So um, so yeah, so that's my video, and thanks very much for watching.